Hey, hello, hello, and welcome back to Stitchy B. It's been ages, isn't it? Life just been so crazy busy at the moment. So here I am, I'm back again to talk to you about another pattern review. So this um, video, I wanted to make, actually it was a happy accident that I found this pattern, because if you remember in my last video, I was looking to hack a t-shirt dress for summer. Now clearly summer's been a god, um, so I wanted something slightly different. But when I was looking for a t-shirt pattern to hack, I thought, let's start with the free ones. I wonder if there are any good ones out there. And I came across the Deer and Doe Plantain Tea. Now this tea's been around for a few years actually, but it's quite new to me. Um, I don't know what made me think that Deer and Doe patterns might just be written in French, but that's not true. There's instructions in English, so there you go. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it was originally, but things have changed. And this pattern is free to download. You just have to register on their site to download the pattern. So here we go. I'm wearing it. Let me give you a quick look. Okay, I chose version three, which is the long sleeve and um, the pattern has a scoop neck. It skims across the body. And I chose to size up with this pattern because I made a twirl completely by accident. <laughs> My original became the twirl because I found the sleeves a little bit tight and I haven't got particularly big arms. So I thought I'll size up and I'll also lessen the seam allowance on the sleeve just to give a bit more room and that worked out a treat. So let me go through the pattern. Uh, right, I chose to download the PDF, which is 22 pages long. Um, some people hate them, some people love them. I don't mind the A4 versions, quite like sticking them together. It doesn't take that long. Stick on a podcast, get your tape out or your sti um, Pritt stick, a uh, glue stick and just put it together. Um, the pattern is really simple. I'll show you the pieces. So the main parts of the pattern are, you have a back piece. There you go. You can see how long that is. And this starts to give you an idea about fabric requirements. And you've got a front bodice piece, which is obviously cut on the fold. I do like patterns with just obvious bits, not too much to cut out, and a sleeve piece. And also you get a little patch piece with it as well. So on the pattern, I'll put a picture up on screen now, you can see a really funky little elbow pattern. Um, I made it pretty much exactly to the pattern with the exception of I added cuffs because I wanted to make something a little bit funky. So you could have added a red patch would have looked really great on this navy jersey. Uh, I thought that would be a bit too much. I'm learning as I get older that less is more. So I thought funky cuffs is plenty. <laughs> but you can go the whole hog. If you really wanted to, you could make a red neck band, you could make a red hem. I resisted the temptation. <laughs> I'm trying to ease down because um, this will go with a lot more things, won't it? The less crazy bits I've added to it. So yeah, um, now to make the sleeve cuff, I um, guessed really. So I just measured round the cuff and then made a cuff piece with a seam allowance added. And I'll come on to how I did that in more detail later on. Um, let's have a look. Yes, now size wise, when I made the original size, so I made a 42 in the beginning and I found it a little bit pinchy on the arms and a little bit too tight. Now, if I'd have taken notice of the finished garment measurements, I would have noticed that on the smaller sizes, the bust has negative ease on the finished garment. So that should tell you how it fits. So expect a snug fit around the bust, and on the waist and hip final measurements, you'll notice that there is ease in that. And you can see this on me. So it skims across the way. So you've got ease here, but it's quite fitted at the bust line. So it's always worth pondering over those charts. I looked at 
the larger sizes and by the way this pattern comes in 16 sizes so it's really inclusive great range and it looks like they've not just scaled it up they have actually adapted for those larger sizes which is quite difficult to do so well done to them on the larger sizes on the bust that is exactly the same as the chest measurement so there's no negative ease on the bust on the larger sizes it's worth knowing um, negative ease just means that it's tighter than your actual bust measurement so if your bust is a 36 and the finished garments 35 that would have a negative ease of an inch um, so yeah have a good look at that and see but yeah just watch for the sleeves it could be the fabric choice so I've made this in my perfect jersey because I wanted something quite robust and something that's going to last me through winter and the weight of this jersey is 215 grams per square meter so that gives you an idea as to the thickness of this fabric. It's a really good jersey that you can't see through. That's why I choose to stock it as my main uh, jersey fabric. So if you wanted to make something in a lighter fabric, say something like, let me grab this for you. Something like this beautiful pink uh, cotton this would have a lot more stretch this is a, just a pink cotton jersey um, which is a lighter weight a lot more stretch a lot more give um, coming on to that actually this pattern would be amazing for lots of different things so you could make t-shirts uh, long sleeve short sleeved which are all included in the pattern you could also use this pattern to make a pajama top so imagine this with a pair of leggings you could really find this versatile in your pattern stash it will come out time and time again you could just adapt it for what you think um, I'm, I'm still playing around the idea of making a, a tiered summer dress as well so literally you just have to play around extending the length or adding tiers and so on so it could be a summer staple as well I liked the scoop neck because a lot of t-shirt patterns I find quite high and I wanted something that is a little bit more feminine is isn't it so if you're covering up your arms you've got a nice long length it's nice to have a little bit of skin somewhere um, but still keeping warm now fabric requirements the pattern fabric requirement is listed in yards but obviously you can convert that so the size I made was a size 44 and that should require uh, 1.75 yards or 1.6 meters for 60 wide fabric if you've got a narrower fabric you need a little bit more just kind of under the two meter mark I expect but double check your fabric width and the pattern requirements but of course it's a free pattern so you can download and have a a good study of that before you go out and buy your fabric now the assembly of this was very easy um, another great thing about this is that the sleeves are put in on the flat uh, and yeah it takes a little bit of getting your head around how you pin those fabrics together so double check you've got right sides to right sides um, before you sew anything and that's pretty much all there is to say about this pattern. I loved it. It's one of those things that you can adapt. Um, you can make it a little bit looser or a little bit smaller depending on what you want and depending on your fabric type. A viscose jersey, for example, would have uh, a lot more stretch and a lot more give. Uh, and that would be ideal for pyjamas. Whereas this is more of a, a warm mid-layer style top. Um, so you can use whatever fabric you've got around also i meant to tell you uh the cuffs so the sleeves are quite long on this usually i have to extend the sleeve length because i'm tall um with this cuff i actually had to remove four centimeters of sleeve pattern because i wanted to add a nice deep contrasting cuff with this lovely ribbed cuff fabric uh, i stopped both of these if you need any of these i'll pop some links below but yeah that worked out really well i did so it originally with that length of cuff on the original sleeve and even for me it was too long so i unpicked it took off four centimeters and it's now perfect for my arms and again there are three quarter sleeve and short sleeve options for this pattern 
So yeah, it's a really great introduction to deer and doe if you haven't found or discovered them yet. I think this is the first pattern I've made. I do have their uh, maxi dress, which I've still not got round to making, but I will. Um, very clear instructions, um, very size inclusive, and the fact that th this is free is a bonus, isn't it? So it's nice to try pattern companies' freebies before you dive into their other things. Um, so yeah, nice to have a free pattern, especially on Black Friday week when lots of people are spending lots of money on other stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's also a sale I think they've got on their website, so have a check um, and see what offers there are. I buy all my own patterns, I'm not sponsored um, to, to do this video by anybody. Um, I just make my own decisions about what I make, because I'm sure you know by now. So yeah, if you want to have a go at sewing this, in my next video, I'm going to sew this step by step in a different colour. I thought I may as well, I've got the pattern out, let's sew it together. I'm going to take it stage by stage. I'll show you how to attach the neckband really easily. I'll show you how to attach cuffs um, and we'll also do a twin needle hem finish as well. So if you're interested in that, um, subscribe to my channel so that you get the notification when that video comes out in a few days time and hopefully you know, it takes a bit more filming doesn't it doing tutorials but I'm going to do a lot more tutorials for you um, I've decided that's the way I'm going to take the channel forward so a lot more um, kind of demystifying some of the sewing processes to help you whether you're a beginner or advanced sometimes it's nice to see how someone else does stuff isn't it so I hope you'll join me on that video also in future if you noticed on my community tab you might have seen a post I put up a couple of weeks ago asking you what what's your favourite brand of shop that you like to shop at that you'd like to sew in the style of and I gave you lots of different options and Bowdoin came out top so I'm going to show you how to get inspired by something that Bowdoin are offering at the moment and to use that as an inspiration in the future to sew something in the style of from their website so do join me for those um, Give me a subscribe so you know what, when that comes out and you'll get a notification as well if you click the little bell icon uh, and then you won't miss any of my future videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well and keep safe, keep warm. It's freezing here at the moment. So yeah, the weather's taken a bit of a turn. So anyway, I will see you next time by the sewing machine. You take care. Bye for now.